Hello everyone and welcome to episode 29 of the Stout Stitch Crochet Podcast. My name is Zach and I'm so excited for all of you to be joining me today. I really meant to get this video out a couple of days ago. Um, so we're going to talk about giveaway winners, uh, we're going to talk about some whips, we're going to talk about a huge yarn haul that I got, um, but just a little update. So over the last, I don't know, week or so, um, my house has been being leveled. Uh, for those of you who don't know what that means, I have an old pier and beam house, so it is 105 years old. Um, and we are leveling underneath it just to make sure everything is completely level because we're redoing the floors. So our house has been being leveled for about the last week. They just finished up a couple of days ago. And so that took up some of my time from being able to film because everything was going crazy at home. They finally got that done. So now we should be able to start uh, redoing the floors and changing tile in the next few days. And I'm super excited about it. I've lived in this house for four and a half years. Um, and I've been wanting to do the floors or redo the floors for quite a while now. So that's going on. Um, and another reason why I was not able to get this video out sooner, I know my uh, giveaway ended on July 1st, so just a few days ago. Um, let's see, two days ago, today's the fifth, so on the third, I was planning on filming, and I've been sick. I've got, I had food poisoning. So for the past two days, I have been laying in bed all day, taking meds, drinking Gatorade, getting my electrolytes back up, um, trying to get well enough to film this video. So this is the first point over the past couple of days where I felt good enough to actually do this. So thank you for, you know, hanging in there with me and um, waiting it out. Sorry guys, I know that the giveaway ended a few days ago. Um, happy 4th of July to anybody who is watching. Today's actually the 5th, so it was yesterday. Um, and I spent it all day on the couch, watching TV, taking medications, all of that fun stuff. Um, Canada Day was a few days ago, so happy Canada Day if I have any Canadians that are watching. Um, so there's that. So let's get into these giveaway winners. So whenever I posted that video a couple of weeks ago, I had seven separate giveaways that we were going to be doing, and here are the winners. So first I have Kathy Garber, Second, I'm gonna butcher this name, but I'm gonna put them all in the description box below. So, um, Arnishua Scott, I'm not sure. I'm so sorry, so, so sorry. Um, Vicki Smith, Linda Rager, Gail Brott, B-R-O-D-T, not sure if that's correct or not, Michelle Page, and Laura Bacon. So I'm going to put all this in the description box. Um, if you heard your name, please send me an email to thestoutstitch at gmail.com with your address so that I can get those prizes delivered to you. Thank you all again for entering. You guys, I had, I had over a thousand entries for that giveaway. What, like, blew my mind. Um, insanity. So, thank you all again for taking part in this giveaway. And if you didn't win this one, trust me, there are so many more to come because I love doing giveaways on this channel. Um, also, now that we have entered July, it is my birthday month. Super excited. Um, well, kind of. <laughs> so it's my last birthday in my 20s. I'm gonna be doing a giveaway for my birthday month as well. More to come in that. I'll have more for uh, the next video so that we can talk about that. But again, congratulations to those seven women. Um, and I will post in the description box below, like I said, all the names, and please make sure that you email me at thestoutstitch at gmail.com. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, next, I wanna talk about a huge, huge yarn haul that I had probably a week or so ago, maybe? Maybe a week and a half ago? Um, so, for those of you who have been watching my channel over the past year and a half, you know that I don't have any craft stores in my town like a Michaels or a Hobby Lobby or um, 
Joann's or a local yarn shop, like none of that. The only place I have in the town I live in to get yarn at is Walmart. Um, and so I do go and buy yarn from Walmart occasionally whenever I need it. Um, all those other stores that I mentioned before, they're about an hour away from me. So I go, I go there occasionally, but I was at work about a week and a half ago and one of my best friends was at Walmart and he sent me a text and he said, hey, just wanted to let you know, I just spoke to someone um, up here who told me that they were putting all of their clearance yarn on sale for 10 cents each. And I was like, wait, what? 10 cents? 10 cents each? Um, and I was a little bit shocked. So luckily, <laughs> it sounds bad, but luckily I had a cancellation in my schedule. So I had a free hour before lunch. Um, but he told me that and I literally said, okay, I'm about to get in my car and head up there. Um, so I got in my car and I was headed there. I was at the red light before I turned into Walmart and I actually passed him and <laughs> we were like laughing at each other because I got there from my office so fast. So I went into the store and they had like one of those big like bins, you know, that you see like DVDs in or like their little candy section that they have at front at Walmart, if y'all have been to Walmart before. Um, and they had all this clearance yarn in there and she was putting the 10 cent stickers on there. Like literally 10 cents per skein. And I was like, why are they getting rid of it for so cheap? Like there was nothing wrong with it. I can, and so she told me that they were adding new yarn to their yarn aisle, like new brands and new colors and new things that were coming in. And so they were getting rid of all the old stuff. Um, and so I was going through while she was marking everything and I was just putting it in my cart. And she was like, well, how many of these are you, are you gonna get? And I said, all of them. I didn't even fully know like what was there, but for 10 cents a skein, I could not pass it up. And so she looked at me and she was like, wait, what? Like you want all of them? And I said, yeah, I want all of them. <laughs> so we just, we counted how many there were. We threw them all into my cart. My entire shopping cart was full. I checked out, y'all, I got 81 skeins of yarn, 81 skeins, and I spent $8 and 10 cents. It was ridiculous. I messaged my husband. I said, oh my God, you're gonna kill me. <laughs> it wasn't that bad though. He, um, he was really excited about it because he said, um, you know, that's actually a really good deal. Um, and so I do do a lot of giveaways on this channel. So a lot of it will probably end up in giveaways, but the biggest, like, I saved over $370. And some of these yarns are not like cheap. Like, they had Lion Bear Mandalas, which I use all the time. And I honestly, I probably got like, I don't know, 12, 13 of them, um, 10 cents each. Like those are normally like five, six, seven dollars, like depending on the colors and what type and everything, 10 cents. I got like Red Heart with Love. And I would show you all of this, but it would literally take forever. It's in like four TJ Maxx bags across my <laughs> craft room over here. Um, but yeah, 81 skeins of yarn for 10 cents each. It was unreal. I said, I will never find a bargain like this again. And some of it is stuff that I'll never use. And so I'll give it away. Um, I've messaged a few of my friends and I'm like, Hey, do you want any of this? Because it's just here. So, um, but like I said, I couldn't pass it up. I mean, $8, $8 for 81 skeins of yarn. Insanity. Love it. Um, so that was my yarn haul. Fantastic. I have a couple of works in progress that I'm working on. So let me start. First, living in my cute little Harry Potter bag that I have here. I am working on the Sedona baby blanket. And this is by Owl Be Hooked. And I'll put a link to her um, Ravelry in the description box below. But it is so cute and I'm using, it's a paid pattern so I'm not gonna show you guys, but um, the Sedona Baby Blanket, what it is, is <clears throat> it's got like little cactus like motif kind of things, like um, almost like a filet style where it's like the empty space makes up the cactus. So hang on, I can show you that much. So it looks like that. You can see that, real cute. Um, 
And so I'm actually using my Red Heart Hello Gorgeous in the color Cactus Flower. So this yarn right here, which I love. It was, I talked about it in my last podcast, I think. I found it at Walmart, but I couldn't find it on Red Heart website or anything. Yeah, Cactus Flower, 252 yards. It's gonna take me four of those to make this blanket, which will be fine. But I started on that today. And so there is this. And so you can kind of see, like those are like the empty space cactus sections. It's difficult to see right now, but I'm convinced once I get like a full cactus in there, it'll be easier to see. It is easy to see on like a flat surface, but with all the colors in it, I thought it would be fun to make the cactus blanket out of the cactus flower yarn. Um, so that is that literally just started like a few hours ago. Um, I showed one of my friends who wanted a baby blanket for, I think a niece that he has that is on her way. Um, and so we are gonna do that. Again, I'll post a link to that in the description box below so y'all can check it out. She's got a lot of really cute patterns along the same line um, as that one. And so I thought that was really fun. And it was only like four or five dollars. And then I have <clears throat> living in my owl project bag. Um, my husband made this one for me. Again, if y'all um, have any inquiries about project bags, please email me at the Stout Stitch. It's very hard to keep up with the comments that people post in the videos um, that I post on here. Um, not that I don't appreciate it, so thank you so much. But if you do, you know, have any inquiry about a bag or any orders or any requests, please send me an email so we're able to filter those a little bit. Um, like I said on my giveaway video, I had over a thousand comments, and so it's really hard to kind of screen all of that. Um, but again, yeah, I'll put a, a um, ooh, I'll put my email in the description box below. So then I'm working on just a plain arcade stitch scarf using one of the um, mandalas that I got for ten whole cents. Uh, <laughs> so. Arcade Stitch, if you've never seen Arcade Stitch, it is that. Pretty, pretty. And so, this will actually be a pretty good size. It's not terribly wide, probably like six inches or so. Um, and this is, it had all the yellow and green and stuff in it. I'm really excited about the blue sections because I've been waiting to get to that blue section since I started. It's gonna be amazing. This is in the color Poseidon. Um, it's a Woolies cake. Again, 10 whole cents, you cannot beat it. I don't understand, but I'm not complaining at all. <laughs> um, it's super soft. This is actually the first Woolies uh, mandala cake that I used. It's 590 yards, just like the other ones. 80% acrylic, 20% wool. Gorgeous. This is literally probably, you know, three and a half feet already. It's gonna need to be blocked. I can tell that my tension has not been the most consistent while I've been working on this. And I followed a video tutorial by Emma from Potter and Bloom and I'll post a link to that in the description box below. But yeah, so that's just what this is gonna be. I'd seen the um, the stitch a lot, and I always wanted to make something with it, and I thought this was just pretty simple, uh, and I really like it. So that is what I've got going on there. Not too shabby. And honestly, you guys, that's really all I've got going on right now. Um, just getting ready for the weekend, not a whole lot of plans, um, but I should have another video coming out soon. Again, my pattern is almost ready to be released just in time for my birthday at the end of this month. Um, so I'll keep you guys updated on that. And we will have another giveaway planned coming soon. Again, congratulations to all of the winners. Everyone, thank you again to everyone who took part. Um, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing, like the video, comment, leave me some notes if you have any. I really do appreciate it. Um, Crystal from Bag A Day has been extremely generous with the shout outs that she's given me on her channel. Um, and I fully give her so much credit for the huge amount of subscribers that I have obtained over the past few weeks. Um, literally in the last month, 
I have gained almost 1,100 subscribers, and I know a lot of that is in part to um, her support and the following that she has. So if you're here from Crystal from Bag of Day or from Seta, because she's uh, mentioned me a couple of times, or from Will um, from The Budget Knitter, please, um, please consider subscribing to my channel. And again, thank you so much for um, being a part of this community because we are all so very grateful for all of your love and support. And it means a, a lot to us, uh, definitely. So thank you all again. Congratulations to the seven winners, like I said. Um, and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.